Hey guys, Brennan from RCGC here, bringing you guys the full info, well, kind of the full info of day one of the Butcher's Western Pack, and let's get into this. Of course, you see we got the background here, as usual, with the Butcher on the freaking Wanted poster, for no reason other than it's her pack. Deal with it, I don't know. Day one. Gun Barrel Nevada ain't big. It, it ain't big enough for a lawbreaker, it sure ain't big enough for four of them and Sheriff Cloaker aims to keep it that way. If a lawbreaker comes to town, the sheriff takes him out, Wild West style. It's high noon, Sheriff Cloaker is ready, the lawbreaker is ready. Draw! Okay. Not much info for today, just really announcing the pack. Um, here we'll see how much it costs. It's available April 30th, which is this Thursday. Uh, day 2, of course, will most likely contain the weapons and all that. The uh, All the weapons in the... Supposed grenade, which I'll kind of discuss. Uh, day three, of course, will most likely be achievements and the masks. Of course, most likely will most likely we will be getting a cowboy hat, possibly a bandito mask, like a little bandana mask. Um, there's some things I wanted to discuss. One, this might just be me overthinking, but Gun Barrel Nevada, uh, Golden Grand is in Nevada, Las Vegas, maybe. Pointing towards that we're getting weapons for the setup of freaking Golden Grin. Golden Grin coming soon? I'm full of shit? Maybe? I don't know! I just really hope Golden Grin is coming soon, at least soon after this. But, um, let's skip to... I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see this, but... Um, I kind of discussed some of the weapons that are in the trailer. Uh, here you can kind of see... Hold on. Can't, I know you guys can't really see this, but I'm not exactly... This is the first time I've this second time I've actually recorded with OBS in a while, and it seems to be acting up lately. But as you can see, we have some Peacemaker revolvers, which will most likely be out of the game. This might actually be the first paid Akimbo weapons, um, which I honestly would love to see. I have actually wanted to see, um, for one, I've wanted to see like new revolvers get into the game, which this makes me really happy. And two, I've kind of I've always kind of wanted dual uh, revolvers because mostly I just think that's cool. Um, of course, kind of to my sadness, uh, we get a freaking bow and arrow being held by Wolf. Um, there's nothing really much to say there other than it's a bow and arrow. And let's skip a little forward. Uh, here you can see Houston walking out with a stick of dynamite and what appears to be one of two things. That's either chains holding a rifle or a shotgun. I'm not really familiar with Western... Western... Really, I'm not really familiar with West Western weapons. That could be a sniper rifle, could be a, um, a shotgun. I don't know. Maybe uh, to my knowledge, that looks like a lever action rifle, so it's most like a lever rifle, not a shotgun, and so on and so forth. What really confused me was I've gotten kind of reports, like I've read, that the bow weapon files were actually put in the Elizo heist files. Which kind of makes me wonder, um, Overkill was trying to do, I guess, some... Uh, they were kind of hide the traces of what the Elisa weapon could be. So, right now, we don't even, we don't really know what the Elisa weapon, long-range weapon is. Because, as we know, the info we have so far is that, um, that a new weapon is coming with the Elisa heist, and that it will contain a, a long-range weapon, which means, obviously, a sniper rifle, or... In this case, people were thinking it might be the bow, because the bow was in the files. So on and so forth. But, anyway, that's kind of my thoughts. That's day one over with. Tune in tomorrow to get day two, and eventually on day three. And hopefully we can show some footage of the weapons being demonstrated. Anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, do whatever. Brandon out.